Are you are you all aware of that amazing yeah. woman? She really gave a voice to so many people who feel voiceless, especially in this country. But all right, well, do people know about this song? Because it's kind of not. I am not sure. Uh, That's pretty new. This is new. I uh, I do these. Uh, <clears throat> The winery, thank you very much, gives me uh, four dates a year to do some uh, benefit shows to raise money for my little dog rescue and for another social enterprise in town, Crossroads. <clears throat> and so I'm always, when my friends probably see my name come up on the phone, they say, oh, he's going to ask us to do something. <laughs> uh, and I am. And I have wonderful friends. And of course, uh, uh, when was it that we did this, Jamie? Mary and Margot Price. <clears throat> we did one of these, what we call Woostock at the wineries. And um, so, uh, and Mary did this song. I think it was quite new. Yeah, I think she just finished it like two months before. And I think that uh, she and Vince had written it from uh, just a, a phrase that Mavis Staple had said to Vince at, at some event, <clears throat> probably a, a festival or something, just just acknowledging time past and camaraderie and shared experiences. Uh, she just said, sometimes, Vince, sometimes. And that sparked an idea, I think, and he brought it to Mary, is that it? But he said, uh, and I'm telling this because songwriting still amazes me, how people yeah. come up with these amazing pieces of music and these lyrics that touch us so much. And so, I guess he gave her the job, Mary, the job that said, when we write this, we have to also include the phrase, the Orange Blossom Special. Now, okay, so there's some bluegrass fans out there. I'm just assuming, but I think that Mary sort of bypassed the blue bluegrass world on, on her road to becoming this extraordinary songwriter, and so she had to look it up. And, uh, and, and in telling the story, she was telling us about it that night when I first heard it, about how the song was written. <clears throat> and in telling the story, I, the old bluegrasser, you know, who you know, knew that that was just the, this iconic um, 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 bluegrass instrumental, learned so much about the uh, Orange Blossom special. It actually was a train. It wasn't just something that was made up. So <clears throat> somehow, Mary took that piece of information and she saw a picture of a man that had actually worked on that train. And in doing that, she came up with this extraordinary story that I think really captures the, spirit, the, the experience of our country over this last century. Um, the hopes, the dreams, the disappointments, the pain, and our shared experience. And um, so, she's pretty darn good. Yeah. And, uh, so, I'm a little intimidated uh, because I had to learn this and ask Verlin, if, please, if he would, uh, if he would uh, play. And of course, Jamie played so beautifully on it that night. So they're gonna help me try to sing this song, which I'm so honored to be able to do for, for Mary, who we love so much. And we're so appreciate her. They shot JFK and Bobby 
These days, guns are everywhere. Lord, they're shooting everything. I saw my first black president. Made me so proud, I cried. I saw the insurrection. I can't say I was surprised. Sometimes. Sometimes 